Uh, my name is Eric Lundrut. I'm the sales and client manager at Crowd Emotion. We're a uh, startup that deals with facial expressions, which we code in order to determine somebody's emotional state at any moment in time. So currently we're working with the BBC in order to help them understand audience response to TV shows. And we're also working with advertisers and lots of other industry verticals where understanding human emotions is of value to businesses or to other clients. You know, there are many challenges, obviously, in dealing with such a difficult subject and such a science-based subject as emotional understanding. Um, you know, part of the difficulty is that uh, academia and science has only come so far in the field of neuroscience. And as a tech company, we have to sort of bridge the gap between the state of the science and clients' business needs. So we're actually having to invent new methodologies, invent new approaches to machine learning and data science as we're going along, which has been a real stretch for our small team. And uh, the guys on the dev side are working overtime in order to get everything done to the schedule that we set ourselves. So that's maybe one of the hardest things. The other, I guess, difficulty is that our technology is so novel that for many clients, the fact that we can actually do this today in the year 2014 is something they've yet to catch on to. And we're hoping that the next year or two is going to see uh, a maturing of the industry, the media industry and others, so that they'll actually start to consider these types of technologies. Yeah, I think it's really important for uh, a guy in my own position that lives and breathes a startup, uh, including on weekends, to actually go and share ideas with others. Uh, we've been very fortunate to start off in incubator environments and to continue in those now. Uh, we're part of the BBC Worldwide Labs program where we get to sit alongside other startups and share concerns and, and uh, successes with them day by day. I think without that, it would have been a very lonely path.